And the truck door comes in the night! <clears throat> Good morning, everyone. Evening. Afternoon. Whatever time it is where you are. Huh. Apparently, our Macedon instance is up in for other people, so uh, that's fun. That's not coming up for us at all. It's not coming up on my browser or my phone. Weird. Well, thanks to Overclicked for tooting out the word for us. Today, we're playing the last episode of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People, entitled 8-Bit is Enough. And from that song, I hope you can tell... Flecos can live like 20 plus years. Time is for sucker fish. As you can tell from that last song, it involves a certain dragon with a big beefy arm coming out the back of his neck. So let's uh, let's get into it. Uh, there it goes. Just getting the sound without the without the video for a second. All right, are we showing the right number of viewers? Got to make sure of that ahead of time. Uh, looks like we are. Awesome. One unassailable fact is that he was still Trogdor. You can handle his style. I'm in the middle of something, the chief. You do it this time. Quit it. That would be something, wouldn't it? Well, at least the cheat seems entertained. Previously on Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive Pepple. Uh oh, this is starting to turn into an unruly mob. And not the good kind like I started Strong Sad's poetry readings. For real this time. Looks like I'm gonna have to jump. And now the conclusion of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive Pepple. <laughs> <laughs> now look what you did, Doompa Loompa! The Trogdor machine is ruined! What I did? This thing hasn't worked for months! Besides, you broke it! Everybody saw! Look, this is no time to be pointing fat, doughy fingers! This is the time for you to figure out how you're gonna fix it! What the crap was that? It sounds like the fan's broken. You'll have to get it serviced. Serviced? Where am I supposed to get fan service around here? Get it? D do you that get it, though? may be the coolest thing that has ever happened. Oh, help! Oh, I gotta see this. All right. My CGNU class reunion is in two weeks. I better get working on that novel. And marriage. And hair implants. And build that particle accelerator. 
All right, let's pop upstairs. Or yeah, here we are. Oh, hey, the cheat. The cheat? You know you gotta ask permission before you can play with or be around the fun machine. <laughs> Especially when it's to put crap like this in there. Jell Arshi's Pro Fruit Border. That's the promo shovelware I got for sending in the proofs of purchase from all that gelatin I won in the race to the end of the race. Those things are never any good. Say it with me, the cheat. Licensed video games are never good. Little bit meta there. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the tarantula black metal detector and shovel attachment. <laughs> Gotta be all kinds of cool stuff in here. Cool and moist. Best not think about that. Aha! Homestar's cell phone! I probably shouldn't have dialed the Ukrainian weather update line and left it on all these months. It's still very cold. I hope Homestar's got some crazy rollover minutes. <laughs> all right. I had to cheat distract Strongman while I snuck into his room and stole back my tarantula cardboard cutout. Of course, Strongman is also distracted by dim lights, grass growing, and the rotation of the earth. So I probably could have saved myself the trouble. Hey there, Biggie. We are... Just starting up chapter Bar five. The doors! He'll kill us all! Bar the You're finally here! Help me shore up our defenses in case he comes back! Hey, well, what so happened far, to so good. Door? I expected to see him pummeling and or burninating you by now. I told him my plant Charlemagne was a defenseless peasant baby and threw it out the window. Mm. When he went after it, I locked the door behind him. That thing is out of control. You've got to get a new logic board and stop him. Stop him? No, no. It's pronounced cheer him on. He's got a point. Did you see where Trogdor went? He's still outside, just waiting for us to let our guard down. So you finally found a way to put that dead plant out of my misery, huh? Charlemagne went out a true hero. Defending our house with his final act. He would have wanted it that way. Charlemagne was a he? <laughs> What's this logic board you're babbling about? When you broke the machine... We never established who broke what. You must have damaged the 8-bit containment field. You'll have to call Vitelectrics for a replacement. It's the only way to get Trogdor safely back into the game. Why would I want to get him back in the game? Do you have any idea how long I've wanted to have my own dragon? If Trogdor gets free, the video game world and the real world will merge. Imagine hearing the repetitive monophonic music of 8-bit games wherever you are. Every second, for the rest of your life. Yeah, I know. That sounds awesome. I'll fix the machine! An 8-bit containment field, yeah. That's a good one. Did you see where Trogdor went? He's still out. Alright. How am I supposed to get one of those logic board things? You've got to call Vitelectrics and order a replacement. Don't you still have Homestar's phone? That you stole? A few months ago? In your room? That's right! Man, it's hard to keep up with all the stuff I steal. I should start keeping a spreadsheet. Or a bed sheet. A friend sheet? Some kind of sheet, anyway. How am I supposed to get one of those logic board things? You've got to call Vittle that you stole. All right. Well, we've got a phone. Wait here, Junior. 
I've got a reanimated arcade machine to take care of. Just you? You'd have to be some type of idiot to take on Trogdor alone. What? You said all I have to do is replace some kind of logic board and everything would be fine. I just need to remember where I put the key to open the Trogdor machine, then grab a logic board somewhere and pop it in. How hard can that be? Plenty. But since you never listen to me and you're probably going to do it anyway, take this case key. It's the only way to open the cabinet. Wait, you've had my key that opens the Trogdor cabinet this whole time? Well, yes, but I was only holding on to it so you wouldn't lose it. Like you did with your baby blankie. And Shut up! Shut up nine times! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, let's try calling Vitalactrix. No signal? You'd think a cell phone this giant would have a better antenna. I better wait until I'm in a wide open space. Played the Wii version and Strong Bad said Dumpy Kong Jr. Oh, man. I had forgotten that. There was a few Nintendo references in here in the Wii version. Problem I had with the Wii version is it just tended to crash on me a lot. And the PC version hasn't had that problem. Which is kind of the opposite of what I'm used to nowadays. Alright, well let's check outside. Hey! Come back here! Well, we're in a wide open space. Good thing the Vitalectric's phone number is the same as the secret code to get a zillion man in Awesome Cross. <laughs> Vitalectric, we use computers to make video games. Yeah, my Trogdor arcade machine just broke all of a sudden for no reason at all after I didn't do anything to it. And now it's running around all over the place beating people up and scaring everyone. Which is actually pretty cool, except now I can't play it. Uh, all our operators are busy, so... You've reached our voicemail. If you want to hear about Vitalectrix's amazing catalog of all the best games, uh, say one. If you want to join the Good Graphic Kateers Club, say two. And what else? For our hint line, say three. Um. Um. Four. Four. You chose option four. That's... Uh, which one was option four? I don't... I didn't think we had a four. You're not paid to think! How am I supposed to run a fake voicemail and put up with your lip at the same time? Four! <laughs> two plus two! Quattro! Double double deuce! All right, all right, you got me. You say you got a problem with your trap door cabinet? You're gonna need to put in a new logic board. That'll fix it right up. We'll drop one off next to the concession stand nearest you. Finally! That'll be $149.95. How you want to pay for that? Uh, the number you have reached is not in service. Please hang up and try again. Oh, sorry about that. I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, Matt Chapman does almost every one of the voices, so it's it's... A couple of them are bound to sound similar. Oof! Ow. Can't get anywhere near that thing. Maybe Dumplow was right for once. You'd have to be some type of idiot to take on Trogdor alone. Some type of idiot. Some type of idiot. 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 Oh. Hey, there's some type of hey, idiot. Hey, Trogbad, what you doing? Hmm. Anything over here on the way? Yes. Whoa, did you find my quarter? Lucky George, here boy! Oh, it's so close I can taste it. I'll just step over here so you can get to digging it up. Hey! There it is again. It must be on the move. Uh, Homestar, did you swallow your lucky quarter? Uh, of course not. And it certainly didn't taste anything like butterscotch.
You must be using your wall. Let me try. Sounds like Lucky George is on the move. I'll find him. Well, shit. Whoa, did you hear that? It must be around here. Your so-called metal detector must be broken. I don't see it any- Woohoo! Well, okay then. That was not how I remember that going, but it works out. Dog bag, don't look now, but look at that thing over there. Calm down, Homestar. It's just a rampaging Trogdor arcade machine. Never mind that. I'm talking about that walk em up video game over there. <laughs> Ooh, I want to play it so bad. So, why don't game. you go over and play it? Because I lost my lucky video game quarter. What was all that yibber yabber about a lucky quarter? Lucky George has gotten me through a lot of tough jams. Street Mashal, Street Mashal 2, Street Mashal 2, Slightly Different Costumes Edition. <laughs> that quarter and I are arcade legends in five countries. Yeah, yeah, you're a pinball wizard. But why are you trespassing in Strong Badia? Because it's here. I can't find heads or tails of it. But something deep down in my gut tells me Lucky George is close by. Ludicrously convoluted, Andy, is basically uh, the uh, the alternate title for Homestar Runner. Well, let's uh, let's give him his lucky quarter back. His lucky quarter. Yo, Mushbrain, check out what your slimy innards horked up. Lucky George. Oh, why this be? Let me at that twaga machine. Twaga machine. <laughs> Ouch! It's a good thing Homestar's head is so soft, spongy, and, you know, empty. Alright, let's go get that, uh, that logic board. I better write down where my Trogdor machine ran off to on my map, so I don't forget. All right, we sh I, I I guess we gotta walk to Bubs's, since you gotta reveal the parts of the field uh, one at a time. That is a suspicious bush. Like more so than usual. There we are. It's my new logic board from Vidalectrix. Now I just need to install this baby in the Trogdor machine, and we can end this episode early. Yep, guess this is it. You're going to want to reinforce that support beam with a three-quarters Henderson carbon fiber girder. Don't tell me my business woman! What are you, a business woman? <laughs> tell that machine to stop all that yapping! We're trying to get some work done here! Why aren't you behind the stand, Bubs? I got lots of bootleg VHS movies I want to trade in. We're closed for remodeling, Strong Bad. I gotta fix all the damage you did while you were making your movie. So why is Marzipong here? Protesting the construction? Marzipong. Hmm, shows how much you know, Strong Bad. I'm making sure he does everything to code. I do have an architectural engineering degree, you know. And now you know. It's another suspicious looking bush over there. There's the wall. The stick. The whale? Well, let's stop by the whale, for old time's sake. Uh, okay. How about... dialogue here this time. Okay, now. Can I fake disorder, please? 
This has gotten much less random jargon and more actively threatening, right? You'll see. All right, let's put in this logic board. So you first I need the key. This key only works on the door to my trog door machine. And maybe any other trog door doors. Oops. All right, let's try that again. Ow. Ow. You know, most cabinets have the door on the front. Ow. Cut it out. Hey, good shot. Ow. Ow. Man, smells like burning wet to cheat all down in here. You freaks guys cut third star one. Please leave a message. Hey, bit electric here. Our legal department wanted to remind you not to install that logic board around anything that's been exposed to radiation. Because it could potentially cause the end of existence as we know it. Okay, thanks. Hey, uh -oh. strong man, could you finish my game for me? I'm feeling a little woozy. Almost got it. That's a callback to uh, the mention that the black metal detector put out a ton of ionizing radiation mentioned in the first game. Just offhand. Well, that was easy and extremely painful. I better go trick somebody into carrying this machine back into the basement for me. That sounded like it was coming from Strong Bania. Uh-oh. It's even more broken than before. At least it's less punchy now. Trogdor? No! Bad Trogdor! Heal! My poor kingdom! You were never supposed to burninate my countryside! I thought we were BFFs! That's burninating friends forever! Uh, hey, Strong Bad, is this a bad time? I wasn't crying! Wait, wait Homestar, where are you? I'm in your interface! Pretty cool, huh? Well, get oh, out! No. I got enough to worry about without you getting all up in my hood like some kind of pop-up spam. Yeah, that's a problem. I think I'm stuck in this video game unless you can find a way to get me out. By the way, did you know that Total Load can enlarge your Vectroid region by 27%? Click here to find out how. <laughs> oh, first the burnination of Strong Bania? Now I've got home spam! Trogdor, you mess with the wrong player character this time. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I have no other choice. I must kill Trogdor! Ba -da -da -da, da -da -da -da. Uh, anybody know how to kill a dragon? Hey, listen! Those guys in video games are always killing dragons. Have you tried getting into the video game and asking one of them? How am I supposed to get in the game? You want to get in the game? You gotta want it! Be the ball! Live your dreams! Believe in yourself! You never get a second chance to make a first impression! Now are you gonna get in there and show that dragon who's end boss? Yeah! I can't heal you! But I'm gonna assume you said yeah. The acoustics in this video game are terrible. Well. What kind of video game would have a Dragon Slayer? You'd assume that just Trogdor's cabinet would have a Dragon Slayer, right? Get in the game. All right. Let's do this. Very nice. I'm up. Nobody saw that. It's cool. Whoa, what is this place? It's like every cool video game ever made, all in one place. Am I in heaven? Hey, dog bad. No, clearly not heaven. Word on the street is you're trying to take down this dog door character. That's right, Homestar. You were there when I said it out loud twice. Shh, never know who might be listening. 
I hear there's a regular Trogdor killing export inside Peasantry. Fellow by the name of Rather Dashing. Tell the H Star Man sent you. Hmm. Got half Athlon, Pro Fruit Border, Trogdor, Stinko Man 20 XD6, Peasant's Quest, Space Circus, and Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People. Well, we gotta go see Rather Dashing. A young peasant man in short pants. Peasant's Quest? You mean I get to go inside the best-selling video computer TV game of all time? Beyond this door, a world of short-panted adventure awaits. Are you ready to experience the realm of peasantry firsthand? Ready? I've only been waiting for this for, like, my entire life. Then let's do this. But first, thou must answer mine riddle. What is Paul Revere's favorite ice cream flavor? Oh, what? No. What protection. kind of question is that? Who are you anyway? I am the copy protector. Use the code wheel and invisiglasses to aid you on your quest. The answer is on page 38 of your manual. And I don't have any invisiglasses. Don't worry, I'm gonna get around to Space Circus. How am I supposed to get some Invisa glasses? They haven't made those since Thy Dungeon Man Zero. No text edition. <laughs> then thou art well and truly doomed. The secret art of looking at things through red translucent cellophane has been lost to the mists of time. Manual? This game's like a billion years old. I don't have the manual. Then thou art screwed. You don't need a manual, strong man. Isn't that Spirits of 76 game back at your house? All you got to do is figure out what Paul Revere's ghost looks like. Why don't you just go see him in person? Good idea. Space Circus Catastrophe? No way am I going in there. Those evil space clowns are bad news, man. I love those performing bears, though. No, down, boy, down. Oh, he's already gotten attached. Now I gotta keep him. Dancing Bear has joined the party. Whoops. Well... Strong bad school game for attractive people? I hope that's one of those games with, like, guns and swords and setting things on fire! And not one of those boring, use pie on cat type jobs. <laughs> oh man, it is one of those use pie on cat type jobs. How lame. Great. And now, the house is haunted. Yes, that is the ghosts You go on ahead without me, big guy. I'll stay back in the van with the chief. One, you don't have a van. Two, I wish I could get rid of you that easily. And three, these aren't even the groundskeeper wearing a sheet covered in phosphorescent paint kind of ghosts anyway. They're from Spirits of 76. That bicentennial themed game where you're a big spooky pixel running around the black screen picking up other spooky pixels. Are they? Go. Oh, one of spooky those. Spooky ghost pixels. How am I supposed to see anything in here? Leave this place. Father of Resident Evil, really. Ow! Why don't you try doing that to my face, stupid ghost? I think they just did do that to your face. No, they didn't. Besides, it was too dark to tell. If I could just find that light musket peripheral that came with the game, then we'd see who's knocking whom out of whom's house. I guess we need a... I guess we need a zapper. Or a super scope. 
Ah, I was wondering where the box for my Lady Crate Ape game had gone to. I mean, Strong Sad's Lady Crate Ape game. That sucks, and he sucks too, because of it. <laughs> Thank. Remember where the other party members are. I think there's one at the car. Change car ask. Full autopilot. Razor tipped saw blade hubcaps. And snakes? I don't remember adding snakes. Why didn't I remember to add snakes? <laughs> To self. Best place for keeping a tangle of riding snakes? Not, not my, my pants. pants. All right, now we've got snakes. They do not count as a party member, I guess. They are an item. See, party members are in diamond boxes. Change tops. All right, there's other stuff with the whale now. We should have taken the space jersey turnpike. It's it's limousine, but they're not in space anymore. Is that the limousine space machine? Well, all right. Oh my gosh, limousine Larry, I love you. Will you sign my UI window? What happened to you guys? We were jamming through space looking for hot babelians to beam aboard when all of a sudden, squiggly do! There was a bright flash and we ended up here! Oh no, what can we do to help you walk, walk on? This bus ain't going nowhere unless we can get a tow! Well, we don't have anything to tow them with. No way I'm getting that bus out of there without professional help. Is the space machine a rockin'? Can't rock the space machine without hot babelians. You gotta get us towed out of here so we can start beaming them back on board. Welcome back, Andy. There's the stick again. The Algebros! You can usually find Sonora card gauge reading to the pigeons behind here. But now there's just all these burnt chicken bones. I guess Trogdor must have scared them. Oh. Oh. No more. Dex and Rue. Well, if it isn't the Algebros, the entertaining fireball chucking stars of Math Kickers. What's the total, Brodels? The 3D world is totally bogus. We must restore balance. Yeah, I pretty much gotta kill a dragon to get all you guys back where you belong. Wanna come with? Radical. We must restore balance. The Algebros have joined the party. Man, it's worth it just to shut those guys' text boxes up. Oh no. Marzipan is Lady Crate Ape. What was that all about? All kinds of weird goings on, Strong Bad. There was that big flickering and flashing in the sky, and then Marzipan went plumb loco balanco. That's some good autocorrect, Biggie. <laughs> See what I mean? Oh, is Marzipan having one of our episodes again? You just gotta pretend you're listening to her. Let me handle this. Yes, Marzipan, you're right, of course. Good point. Mr. Man, you call that a throw? Give her the old one-two. <laughs> hey, that was my favorite bush. I wonder what's behind there.
I think I actually like Marzi Kong better this way. Well, I don't. Help me get rid of her. Help, strong man. That makes Bubs Pauline. Yes. Dex only speaks 90s and Rue only speaks restore balance. You gotta help me fix that Trogdor machine, Bubs. I think Strong Side broke the logic board or something. The logic board? Well, that explains everything. You must have broken the 8-bit reality containment field, causing our universe to combine with the world of Vitero games. That's right. Strong Side did that. Can you <laughs> fix it for me? I mean, him? Oh, I've been fixing logic boards since before you were in double diapers. I can even make it so you can play those foreign type imported games. But I won't be able to do jack or squat until you do something about the crazy crate lady. Well, let's see what's behind that bush. Oh, more crates. And a poop smith. Yo, poop smith! Let's build something. What? In Comic Sans. Strong bad. Just between you, me, and the interface, Leo? I don't think the poop smith's playing with a full bucket. He thinks he's Mr. Fix-It from that old construction walkle game. I wow, think Bubs that's is actually old school. quite a bit older. Well, Fix-It, how would you like to join me in my epic quest to, uh, rebuild reality? It's one heck of a fixer-upper. What is that? Buckshot? Chicken feed? A bunch of ellipses? Is that it? Do you need ellipses? I mean, it's never explicitly said what anyone's age is. Fix it, Felix, before fix it, Felix. Mm hmm. There's a I've bucket. I've read enough of these quote unquote adventure games to guess that this thing's supposed to hold rivets. Just a hunch, huh? Oh, shit. Whoa, I almost stepped in... Snake Boxer? Oh, I get it. I almost didn't see you there. What with you being two-dimensional and all. Well... You know, your blocky fists of fury could come in pretty handy. Wanna join my party to save reality? Here's a crate. I'd bet most of Strong Sand's savings that this crate has something interesting in it. Well, that's not opening. Wreck it Ralph with less Jane Lynch. That's that's pretty accurate. Too bad you're not a video game type character, because then you'd be able to just punch your way into that crate. Well, we do have a video game type character who can punch crates. All right, Snake Boxer, do your stuff. Why won't he hit that? Guy's got a thing for snakes, Strong Man. Don't ask him about it. He gets real quiet and does that thousand yard stale. Oh, yeah. All right, well, I guess we can put snakes on the crate. Okay, guys, I realize I'm asking a lot from a bunch of pixelated snakes with, at most, a dozen or so lines of code between them. Well, uh, could you just sit here on this crate and, uh, slither for a while? Cool. Thanks. Now, maybe he'll punch the crate. In the slimy green corner, weighing in at, uh, 800 pounds, is a crate covered in snakes! And in the blue corner, weighing in at 128 pixels, is the Flatland Flattener, the Asp Assassin, the Python Pounder, the one and only Snake Boxer! That was quick. Those snakes must have taken a dive. <laughs> hey, here we go. All right, the light musket peripheral from Spirits of 76, complete with photonic ramrod and frequency frizzing. 
With this baby, I'll be able to blast wavelengths of liberty at all sorts of stuff. Equip the light musket by selecting it. Use the right mouse button to fire the light musket. Let's look at these. It's a mile high pile of video game crates. Where were you guys when I needed a power up in Hallway Warriors 3, huh? Uh, we need rivets for the poop smith, uh, the, the Mr. Fix It. We gotta go in the house, which we should be able to do now. Let's break open this crate. How about it, guys? There's probably an ancient relic in there or something. And I know you snakes love that kind of stuff. Round one, fight! Asp -asp -asp My very own EGA question hat! I'll be able to do all kinds of stuff in this. Look stone, get brooch, talk barkeep. The possibilities are endless! My, my, my nickname was, uh, Flatland Flattener, on account of my, my flat, my flat. <laughs> I'm saying my breasts aren't very large. <laughs> Have you ever played The Room of a Thousand Snakes? That sounds familiar. That was one of those joke games, right? From, like, ten or so years ago? Right, I just remembered something. May as well do it now while I'm here. No, go to the exit. There's a flash thing. Yeah, and you drop in and there's a thousand snakes. This snake re or this this crate respawned. Snakes on a crate. It's the box for the Videlectric's Half Athlon, voted best sports-related game by Videlectric's Power Magazine for three years running. There we go. I don't need a cheap rip-off respawn light musket. I've already got the much cooler original. Of course. All right, let's pop back to the house. Now we can equip this here light musket. Takes forever to reload. Cheat! Did you unleash vengeful spirits into the house again? Again? <laughs> he removed the cartridge while it was loading and trapped us here forever! Save oh no! Us. Save me! Uh, yeah, us! Forever, huh? We'll see what old Musky here has to say about that. Your gun is useless against the sprites of liberty! Separate rendering layer, Jack! Deal with it! You must return the items we have lost! Help the colonial ghosts and avoid the red coat ghosts. Use the right mouse button to fire your light musket. Empty. Fridge, I think you should be in your own video game. Fridge Quest, the search for serving a purpose. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Ah, stupid redcoats! Need a taste of the shot heard round their boon tackles. What is a boon tackle? Oh, whoops! No, I needed to re-equip the gun. 
Oh, never mind. It re-equips itself. That works out. Get out of here. No, get, get up. Go. Get out of my face. Stupid red coat ghosts. I dropped mine into the bay, and then I invented beer or something. Why do you video game types always talk in lame clues? Why don't you just tell me what you're looking for? We get more screen time this way. Triple scale for each spoken line of dialogue. What he said. <laughs> oh, here's an 8-bit artifact. Just, no, pick up the... No, strong bad. Pick it up. There wow, we go. Wow, it's an enormous feather. I'm learning so much about history right now. All right. No, get, go. Get out of here. Because now we got to go upstairs. so hard to make out what's going on. Go, 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 shoo. Anything good here? Ah, there's another one. Okay, I've got no idea what this is, but I bet I'm gonna need it. It looks like a shovel. Never jostle the cartridge, that's right. Otherwise you might create memes. My single greatest claim to fame is the fancy way I signed my name. Oh, so that means you want this, uh, this quill, right? You have found it! I am free once again! I am John Hancock. Make sure your family's insured in the event of an emergency. Alright, gotta find one more artifact. There it is, the lantern. Looks like a box with a line in it. Maybe a lantern? There we go. Uh, now I just need to find the two ghosts. Uh, one of them's by the door downstairs. This guy I'll want. I unlocked the door to electricity using a kite. It's a metaphor. Work with me here. Um... I guess you want a lantern. That is not the object I'm looking for. Apparently, you haven't unlocked my insultingly obvious riddle. That's true. I don't want a tea bag either. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Now well, let's head to the basement. Go on. I dropped mine into the bay, and then so I you want the tea or something. You have found it. I think it looks I more like a Minecraft today. switch. I am Samuel Adams. Cheers. There's the key. The answer to the insultingly obvious riddle. It's an old timey key. Just look at that resolution. <laughs> one if I land, two if I see. Bring one to me. If you try and hand him the other key, that's a good question. Let's find out together, shall we? So let's give the lantern to Paul hey, Revere here. My lantern! Thanks, man! I'm Paul Revere! Hey, I want to ask you a question. Yeah, not to be rude, but I got a split. These British people are coming, and I really should tell everybody about it. Thanks again for the lantern! All right. One more to go. Get out of here, ghosts. It's 
really hard to see anything here. And I know that's the point, but it's kind of annoying and hard on the eyes. I unlock the... All right, let's try giving him the real key. That is not the object I'm looking for. Oh, I was really hoping for special dialogue. You have found it. I am free once again. I am Ben Franklin. Thank you, citizen. You're very welcome, Ben Franklin. Blimey! That's Hooray. right, stupid ghost. Shoo! Go off and show up as unexplained blurs and mysterious photographs or something. Ghost photography ain't no joke, strong man. You too can take pictures that look like you sneezed on them. Good stuff. Well, let's, uh... Let's try out this Gel Arshi fruit boarding game. Gel Arshi's pro fruit boarder? The cheat must have changed the cartridge without turning the machine off first. Even though it clearly says on the box that doing so can result in loss of data and or the physical manifestation of spectral entities. Well, might as well see if this game is worth the zero dollars I paid for it. Do, do, do. Wipe out. Gel Arshi's Pro Fruit Border. Okay, let me see how this game works. Use the control key to jump, and while in the air, use the arrow keys. Whoa. This is... Game. This is a video. It's a video game we're playing right here. This is exciting stuff. Whoa. Multiplier. Man, this game is making me hungry. Time's up. Reverse stainless steel French press. Best score. This game is like pure, undiluted 1989 concentrate. And that didn't hit me for some reason. someone pays you to take it. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Hmm. Well, we can, uh, look for ghosts. If I remember, there's, there's a spooky ghost right here in the house. There it is. That's pretty spooky. Oh, I don't have the camera. Did I forget to pick up the camera? I forgot to pick up the camera. Oops. Is the camera not here? I got a home star. 
Oh, duh. Right, snappy foe. You don't have to pick it up. Okay. Silly me. Okay. And to cheat, distract Strongman while I snuck aboard Cut Earth. So Thanks, everyone. <laughs> I got it now. Let's go take some spooky ghost photos. Make it look like we sneezed on him. What the? What is that ghost doing in my picture? And that box wasn't there before. Oh, Man, no. this is seriously giving me the j j j jibberish. Oh man. Wow, I never noticed that box until that friendly ghost pointed it out to me. Stinko Man's whole lot cooler robot boots. Now I can totally fly around in space in cool action poses. I know I don't want to look inside there, but I just can't stop myself. Speaking of Ghiblis. What? Where'd the painting go? Come on in here. Ah! Successfully hey, Ghibli. I hear those guys in that Peasant's Quest game have a lot of XP killing dragons. Just an FYI from the HSR. Take a look at Stage the Stage one real complete. Quick. Stage two emails. From Videlectrix. Ahoy, good graphic cateers. Oh boy, it's the Videlectrix newsletter. Take a whiff of all the pixel packed fun coming your way from Videlectrix. Celebrate the Fright Centennial with Spirits of 76 and its revolutionary new light musket attachment. The ladder building action of Mr. Fixit will have you riveted to your fun machine. Maybe include the missus with Lady Crate Ape from Videlectrix for her. Experience the mild sports type gameplay of the Videlectrix Half Athlon. And please, for the love of Pete, don't forget old favorites like Peasant's Quest and Stinko Man. Not available in some territories. And kids, keep your eyes peeled for our collectible trading cards probably buried or hidden near you. Another great newsletter. Sounds like Videlectrix upgraded their computer. Singular. The last email I got from them was handwritten on a napkin and shoved under my door. <laughs> Survey says, deleted! What gives in Peasant's Quest? It says that nobody can beat Trogdor, but I thought Stormbad could beat anybody, so my question is who would win in a fight you are Trogdor? Manny. Manny? Manny who? Manny emails are better written than this one? Manny people have asked me to use the shift key, but I refuse to listen? Of course I would win. I birthed Trogdor. It's like how your dad always shellacks you at tennis even when he's 70 years old. He knows all your moves. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but that beefy arm has no backhand. And his net game is practically non-existent. I could easily take him in straight sets. Oh, wait. You asked about a fight with a dragon that breathes fire. Hmm. Maybe I should come up with some kind of non-tennis related plan to defeat that guy. El Delito Grande! Strongman! What? Don't sneak up on me like that! <laughs> Which cheat commando are you most like and why? Curious, Dugum, Vermont. Is this one of those lame internet personality quizzes that people are always forwarding me? Like, which character from The Color Purple are you? That thing said I was a silly when everybody knows I'm a squeak. Anyways, my favorite cheat commando would have to be Gunhaver. Because out of all the action figures I've melted with a soldering iron, he turned into the coolest abomination. Now I call him Twig, Rusty Nail, Some Dead Bugs, and Right Leg of Other Action Figure Haver. But my second choice would be any of the ruthless Toppleganger's. 
There's sometimes good guys, most time bad guys, guns for hire! I don't even have their action figures, but I have a feeling they'd be real melty. <laughs> Deleted! <laughs> Dear Strongback, I think you have the best taste in video games and are never wrong. You're my new best friend. But my brother just got this new game where you can't die at all. You just get stuck. I think this is boring, but what do you think about games where you can't die? John Platts. Ack! A video game where you can't die? No, that doesn't sound boring at all. It sounds... What? Oh, sorry. I nodded off there. But seriously, what are you supposed to do in a game where you can't die? Pick up things? Talk to people? Talk to people about things you just picked up? Let me be first in line not to play that game. Sometimes I try to die in games that don't even let you die. Like Solitaire. I swear, if I keep playing two cards of the same suit on top of each other, that one-eyed jack will jump out and stab the crap out of me. Good Deleted. stuff. Alright, let's get back to the game now. I guess we need to get back to the mainframe. Take a look at that uh, code wheel. It's Ben Franklin's ghost from Spirits of 76. Wow, thy dungeon man looks a lot beefier here than he does in text. Not Yon Trinket. No fair! This so-called code wheel is broken! Nobody can read that! Oh, Ooh, shit. tough boy, strong man. I don't think they even make those invisible glasses anymore. Oh, man! Where am I gonna find something red and see-through? If you need something red and see-through, I have just the thing. Homestar, if you're about to show me a skimpy negligee, stop right now! Oh, never mind. <laughs> All right, what do we know that's, or who do we know that's red and see-through? Much as it pains me to say, we're gonna Shell have to Shell Pro Fruit, Fruit, Fruit Porter. That's the game the cheat was wanting to play in my bedroom. I wonder if it's any less lame when you see it on the inside. A gel Arshi game looking like this. What are you doing back here? Nobody's allowed backstage without a chaperone. Look, having to talk to you is no bowl of cherries for me either. Cherries? Where? I love cherries. Anyways, as I was saying, I thought I was jumping into the game. How come you're just standing around here? Not not loafing. That's because nobody's playing the game. I'm in. Attract mode. Oh dear. So, freak show. Hey kids, come to watch me get radical on the half pipe? Oh, I'm looking for anybody to help me get farther in the video game so I can kill a dragon. Well, keep looking. Around here, I'm in charge. I'm the god. And I ain't leaving till somebody hits the kill, kill, kill screen! Hey, Strongbag, what's a kill, <laughs> kill, kill screen? Oh, that's when you play a video game for so long and get a score so high and have a life so depressing that you break the video game. Oh, hey, Strongbag, why is the sky blue? Go away, Homestar. You only get one question per day. All right. 
So, Professor Pineapple, got any ideas on how I can take out Trump? What? Oh, what a ripoff! He's not even real! He's just a prop! Sometimes, after the game shuts down, I can hear him talking to me. He tells me to do things. Uh. Red flavored fluffy puff translucent dessert related substance. That's for the product placement at the end of every level. Gotta push those units. I'd like to push stupid units. Well. What if. I have yet to meet the random lever that I could not push for no reason. Now, Professor Pineapple should be throwing out red fruit. Let's look at this slider here. It's for difficulty, difficulty right? Difficulty slider? No wonder this game is so boring. Now it's set to high. Hi, I'm Joe Arshi. Hmm, well, let's pop I back home. I find a place for the Jell Arshi game on here, so I know to avoid it. Let's go home and uh, try out our new uh, modded game. Time to shred well, some serious air with my totally gelatinous bromide, Jell Arshi! Wipe out! Oh man, this is real tough. I think we won. What a good kill stream. Ski. Kill screen. There we go. Yeah. Hey kids, I'm Jell Arshi, and I'm in your house. You tired old snacks can. Ah! What have you done to my legs? Ah, make it stop, make it stop, make it stop. Just kidding. You tired old snacks can go to bed. My fruitacular taste turns everything red. Yeah. Just join my party already. Sure thing, kid. I'll follow you everywhere. Man, I hate that guy. No, we lost because Jell Arshi is with us now. Kinda interested in what those lines said. Uh, all work and no play makes Jell Arshi a dull boy. <laughs> a dull gel. Ah, uh, that's the only one I saw repeated over and over again. I may be wrong, but that's that's all I saw. Back to the mainframe. All right, now we can read the code wheel. Let's find, uh... Oops. That's the Junker from Peasant's Quest. He's only in the game for like five minutes. How'd he get on the wheel? Let's turn it around. Look like Kid Speedy. Paul Revere's favorite. The Trogdor on the Peasant's Hut. All right. 
looks like one of those. Guess I don't need to find ice cream on here. Let's see what happens here. Ah, dang it. Step aside, pudding snacks. I'm on the loose and I'm bursting with red fruit like flavor. Uh, yeah. Yes, this has got to get me into the Trogdor game. A Trogdor t shirt consolation prize. All right, I give up. Cool shirt, though. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was not what I expected. That's cute. None. Paul Revere was lactose intolerant. Good to know. Dost thou have yon answer for mine riddle? What is Paul Revere's favorite ice cream flavor? I've got the answer to that riddle. Layeth it on me. None. Paul Revere was lactose intolerant. That is correct. Welcome to the realm of peasantry. Welcome to Peasantry. Check this place out! I'm in a video game! Oh man, does that mean I can bash stuff with my head to find coins? Ow! Guess not. Not that kind of game, SB. Who it is. Hey, it's rather dashing. Star of Peasant's Quest. And where are Looking short blocky pants. and pixely as ever, Rav. Say, I always wanted to ask, what's up with the short pants? These things are incredibly comfortable. I'd like to see you get rock or throw baby while wearing long pants. Fair enough. Hey, I need your help. So you could say they're comfy and easy to wear. Where can a peasant brother lay his hands on a trog sword? I got trog doors to smite. Well, normally it's on display at the inn, right here in Peasantry. But recently, a strange burst of energy swept the sword away to a foreign land of floating platforms and slightly higher resolution. Soon after, another stranger looking quite a bit like yourself visited Peasantry asking each of us for a challenge. Wait, no. Stinko Man? My favorite Japanese cartoon video game version of me? I love that guy! He desired a challenge, so I sent him on a quest to retrieve our sword back from whatever strange realm it ended up in. I assume he's still there, for he has not yet returned. I need you to help me find some kind of special sword and kill Trogdor so I can keep Homestar from popping up on my face all the time. Congratulations! You won a free MP3 player. Click here for low, low weights. Trogdor? I'm not going anywhere near that dragon. Hasn't anyone told you? He's indestructible. Not even the mighty Trog Sword can smite him. That's not what I heard. You must have been doing it wrong. <laughs> I suppose it's possible that I was simply smiting him in the wrong spot. Tales have been told about weak spots in the beast's scaly armor, but I've never seen any. Huh. Here's some Hi, weird Man. spots. Did you find the trog sword and kill trog door yet? No, I didn't. I mean, you're still in that window, right? Hey, are you eating? Yeah, those foods just lying around all over in here. Bananas, turkey legs, cherries, <laughs> power dots. I'm gonna ignore that. Now, who in here's gonna tell me how to kill Trogdor? I don't know. I never played this game. But I'm sure there's a cave or volcano or lair around here somewhere. There usually is in this kind of game. That's the ham. Gotta go. 
as I was saying, here are some weird dots. Didn't we? Didn't someone need these? What the CGA are these things? I'm gonna guess pebbles or chicken feet, ball bearings. Hmm. Oh, oh. There's a box. That's weird. It's perfectly normal to see cardboard boxes filled with weird things scattered around all over the field back home. But in peasantry? A pair of pixelated elf boots. I hope I don't have to press right arrow to start walking, and then press right arrow again to stop walking when I wear these things. hey -o. There's the king of town, or the scorpion monster. What did you expect that giant Good thing scorpion I always monster ignore to do? The text in these You're games. dead. Otherwise, that box might discourage me. <laughs> Mysterious pixel. Aha! I got the um whatever this is supposed to be. Took me so long to figure that out while playing actual Peasant's Quest. That must be that scorpion monster's cave. I don't want to know what kind of low-res horrors he keeps locked away in there. Roar! Roar! Oh, crap. Good thing I always ignored it. All right. Let's continue back on to the inn. It's a good graphic Katir collector's card. Anti-social Angus. I guess that's funny. Almost. Maybe. Hey, is that no, e not Flask at all. over there? That looks like E Flask. I'm gonna get it. I can't get E Flask. I still can't get E Flask. Okay, try everything a couple times. It just might work. <laughs> Except, no. Forget it. That thing is ye dead to me. <laughs> Level four fight. spell of snake summoning! Huzzah! Alright, snake boxer, do your thing. Smash crate. What do you want to smash the crate with? A snake boxer. Oh man, some kind of med kit. Cool, an all purpose med kit. With this, I can cure the sick and heal the lame. Maybe even the ultra lame like Strong Sad. Hi, decrepit old person. Hello, youngster. What can I do for you? Tell me about ye flask. What's with that ye flask over there? You probably wish you could get that. Well, yeah, I do now. What do you need ye flask for anyway? I don't know. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? Just pick up all the crap that's lying around hoping it'll be useful for some stupid thing later? Uh, you can't get ye flask. Okay, fine. I'm just saying, don't leave ye flask just lying around in plain view if you don't want people trying to pick them up. Not cool. <laughs> this place is awesome. If I ever open up a bed, breakfast, and biker bar, it'll look just like this one. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. The inn itself doth make little money. That's why I had to open a carriage tow and repair service as well. Should you need a carriage repaired, just come see me. Well, we do happen to need a carriage repaired. Hey, I got a job for you. Huzzah! So where is this carriage? Uh, it's pretty far away from here. As far as the peasantry woods? 
You better just come with me. The innkeeper has joined the party. You shall not pass. Hark, who goes there? Leave this place now, lest I, the evil wizard Slushfund, be forced to cast an evil spell on you. Uh, I think they mixed up your order at the costume palace, prom queen. They must have made a mistake. It's fate. I was sitting in my room alone. As always. When a blinding flash of light knocked me off my feet, I woke up here in the land of peasantry, obviously dressed as a powerful evil wizard. So, who exactly do you think you are? As I told you, puny knight, I am the evil wizard, Slushfund. Yes, of course. Evil wizard. What? Uh, I hate to break it to you, slosh fiend, but you're clearly a princess. No, I'm not. I'm an evil wizard. Just look at my wizard hat. Oh, your evil wizard hat? You mean the one that is pink and sparkly? I don't care what you say. I'm an evil wizard. It's my job to guard this lair and give out quests. Oh, give me a quest then. Okay, Princess Quest Giver, hit me with your best quest. Very well. You must venture deep into the Forbidden Forest and retrieve thy amulet of ancient summoning from the ravenous Munchox. And what do I get in return? First, bring me the item. Then we'll talk about your reward. Oh, good thing I just so happen to have one of those. Those, uh, quest thingies. Okay, Princess Salad Fork. That doesn't even sound anything like Slush Foon. I got that quest item that I don't actually remember what it's called. Now let's talk reward. Um, are you sure this is the quest item? Of course. It looks just like the thing you showed me. Hmm, I guess you're right. Behold, the quest item is recovered. Thank you, brave adventurer. You've done such a fantastic job that I shall reward you with another quest. Are you serious? Return to the realm of the Munchox and bring forth to me the Sigil of Dark Dampening. This better be worth it, Lady Dumpsalot. Well, that's going to lead in a big, uh, a big gameplay loop. So let's not do that. Let's just grab another pixel and head out. Aha! I got the, um, whatever this is supposed to be. Another ghost in the frame? And another box. I wonder what's in that box the ghost wanted me to find. It's the box for Spirits of 76. A dire message from beyond the grave, or an attempt at cross-video game marketing synergy. Expert opinion is divided. All right, let's... Now I gotta find a place for the peasantry in on my map. Let's put it where Jalarshi used to be. Boxes in boxes, plans within plans. Alright, we need to go see Limousine. Or near one of these places. There we go. Here, move, move the bus, uh, carriage. What am I supposed to do with this? This isn't like any carriage I've ever seen. Oh, come on. It's a space carriage. That's the best kind of carriage. Ah, uh, what do right. I know? I'm just a simple peasant. 
Oh no, he's been burning it. Well, all right. Just point us at the Babelians and let us do our thing. Uh, what type Babelians you guys looking for, anyway? Hey, man, limousine don't discriminate. We'll beam up any type of lady who wants to party. Well, there's only one lady who wants to party around here. So let's beam up this lady who wants to partay, shall we? Fly, my hair metal rockers! Be free! Moderately hot Babelian off the port bow! Oh crap! It's that crazy chick from the Battle of the Bands! <laughs> Ow! Stop throwing those crates, pretty mama! Wow! But she'd never leave. There you go, Strong Bam. Just stick that back in the machine and you can play whatever game you want. Even those crazy foreign type games. Excellent. Oh, Star. I thought once you fixed that thing, I'd be rid of him for good. Ain't gonna be that easy. As long as Trogdor's out running around burning everything up, the machine can't be fixed. You're gonna have to take him out old school style. We're talking medieval old school. Uh, you ask you me. Just a reminder. Now I'm gonna see if I can hitch a ride on that Babelian space bus. Wait up, guys! Stop throwing those crates, pretty mama, was my favorite limousine track. Excellent. And of course the only girl. So of course she hopefully wants to partay. Or at least throw crates. Let's see, it probably would have been faster to run the other way, huh? But well, we've got these uh, rivets, maybe, to put in uh, Poop's uh, Mr. Fix-It's bucket. Hey, uh, mister! I think I found some rivets! At least I think they're rivets. I guess they could be grapes, or nickels. Cool, so you'll join my party? Let's build something. That's what I'm talking about! Mr. Fixit has joined your party. I believe that that is exactly what those are. Controgulation, you have stank pockets now. <laughs> Poopsmith Minecraft skin, I'm sure that exists. Well, let's go see Stinko Man, 20XD6. Now I want to be the guy, too! Step aside! Coming hey, through! Brought you! Line. Whoa! I just got an extra life! I must be even more bodanical than I thought! What the... what am I doing down here? I'm supposed to be up there where all the runny, jumpy, shooty action is! Hey, be quiet down there! I'm right in the middle of a challenge! Hey, bad guys! Check out these moves! Yeah, 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 yeah! Man, he is not very good at this, is he? Well, good thing we have, uh, 
Mr. Fix It. Fix these ladders. Keep building till you hit the Cloud Kingdom. They keep all the cool stuff hidden away above the high score. Okay, mister, fix it! And... One more. One more time! Stinko man! What do you want? What do I want? Why did I call you Stinko man? Seems a little harsh. Why do they call you dumb face? Um, they don't. Is it because your face is dumb and at the same time you have a dumb face? No one calls me that. Maybe they should call you dumb butt face because your face and your butt are both dumb! <laughs> Robots! <laughs> Stinko man it is! Check out that pinch he got! That guy looks awesome! I'd hate to get caught in his grip! Ooh, George! <laughs> that guy is so dumb! Ha <laughs> ha dumb ha! He is a dumb! Well, what about that guy shooting at you? He looks like he could really mess you up, man. Yeah, he wishes on his birthday. George and Brown Tent are level one enemies. They don't offer a significant challenge. Those guys are too slow, too predictable, and too not powerful enough to stop me. I better stop talking to you while I still think you're somewhat cool. Hey, up, Pinchy! George? Hey, you aren't supposed to talk down there. And don't call me Pinchy. I do have a name, you know. George. Forget that. I got something important to say. So, I was just talking to that Stinko Man guy, and he told me he thinks you guys are wussies. What? Ooh, when I get a hold of him, he'll wish he was never born. What did he say exactly? Well... Hmm. Said you were predictable, yeah? Um, which one of these means predictable? I guess that's... He says you're too predictable. I guess so. Seriously? Aw, oh, man, now I won't be able to stop thinking about it. Just going back and forth all the time. Well, maybe if I change up my moves a bit, like this? Take that, pattern recognition! Ooh, spooky. Hey, up there! What? Who said that? Me, down here! Hey, I gotta tell you something! Did you know that Stinko Man makes fun of you behind your back? Oh, of course I know. I mean, have you listened to the guy for more than ten seconds? He's got the brain power of a first grader at nap time. But despite my college education and middle class upbringing, daytime TV has somehow gotten its hooks into me and made me a sucker for gossip. So what's he saying about me? Said you're slow. He said you were too slow. What, you mean like moving too slow or shooting too slow? Because if it's moving too slow, well then yeah, I, I agree with him. I basically just sit here and shoot. I guess I could shoot faster, though. I'll give that a shot. No pun intended. Hey, what is going on here? You guys are ganging up on me! Ganging? Too predictable, huh? And too slow? Well, how do you like us now? Hey, you guys are cheating! No fair! Cheers! You made my stomach hurt! Hey, that was pretty good. Did you alter your pattern? I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, well, how about you, huh? I saw that rapid-fire action. Pretty sweet. Thanks. Hey, you want to take off early? Get some cold ones? I'm so freaking lootly. See you guys later. 
And I'm the next life. Yes! Let's go get that Trog Sim. Hold on, mighty Trog Sim! Strong battle be there soon! Oh, I better fix this uh, broken bridge. Forgot about that. Here you go, Mr. Fixit. Work your magic. Nice work! Hey, how much would you charge to build a 200 foot wall around Marzipan's house? Three dollars? That's great! Oh, never mind. <laughs> Extended memory management! Raster interrupt six! Hold, Hold and, and modify! modify. the mighty mode eight! The power of the trunk sword is mine! Yeah, you got the sword! Now you can slay the dragon! More importantly, I'll be able to keep you from popping up and interrupting all my future scheduled makeout sessions! Uh, I've got access to your online calendar in here? And I don't see any scheduled makeout sessions. Just pedicures and bubble baths. Yeah, that's code for makeout sessions. <laughs> Just get out of here and quit touching my stuff. The fabled drug sword is mine. I do believe that in that box is a Stinko Man costume item. It's Stinko Man's spiky Japanese cartoon hair! Gotta so blue, blue and luxurious, without using any product. Can I go up this one? A ladder that big has to go somewhere cool! What the... <laughs> the ladder is a lie. It always is, SB. It's gonna be a challenge, but there's gotta be room for Stinko Man 20XT6 somewhere on here. Alright, whoops, I was supposed to go to the mainframe. That's fine, I'm right next to it now. Hi, hi Trogdor. Here we are at the Half Athlon. The Videlectrix Half Athlon, featuring Jeez. the finest top tier Soviet athletes that Videlectrix could afford to license. Sounds half athed, all right. It's one of my favorite puns in the series. There's a lot of good puns. Hey, Coach Z! Strong man, get the. Man, that looks like it hurt. I gotta do that again. Mm. Man, those scorpions look angry. If they only had more pixels, you could see the venom dripping from their tiny pinchers. Hmm, well, I've got a med kit. Now let's see if I can really heal the lame. Why did they put in those things? That feels great! Tell you what though, that'll teach me to carry around this ball of scorpion food in my back pocket. Pot shot shot pot! Bye scorpions. Hey strong bed, great day for a half athlon! What did you do to the track, coach? Ain't it grand? I've been trying for years to get to host the Videlectrix half athlon, and it's finally come true! Uh, do you need another med kit, coach? Or maybe something to come down off the last one? That bright light in the sky was a signal! I knew it was my duty to recreate the half athlon, right down to the lava pit and ice level. Why were you carrying a big ball of scorpion food? To seed the track, obviously. 
Can't have a proper half antelon without a pack of ravenous scorpions now, can you? What's with the big guy over there? He doesn't seem quite right in the head. More than usual. It's not often we get a real live licensed video game sports celebrity around here. Just look at that dedication. He won't stop practicing until he wins that trophy. Yeah, maybe it's not Strongmad who's not right in the head. I mean, it literally is every day you get. Never mind. Hey, what's this do? Checkpoint? Hey, look at that. It's a pitfall vine. Hooray! And he sticks the landing! USA! USA! Well, the scorpions don't seem to mind me being here. I guess it's because they're two-dimensional and I'm off of their plane. Here's the ice level. Ah, uh, the obligatory ice level. Less friction, more penguins. Sup, penguins? Oh, 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 oh. Right, here's a trophy. Here, the chort. I love 8-bit trophies. I don't think that trophy belongs to you, strong man. Even better. Ding da ding. Bonk. <laughs> well, let's give this. Uh, I don't think it's a good idea to grab the scorpion food. I'll tell you that. Oh, so let's uh, oh, oh. head back across here and give the trophy to Strong Mad, who won't stop until he gets that trophy. I better keep this trophy for someone who needs it. Well, Strong Mad needs it. All right, Comrade Shotsky. On behalf of the Videlectrix Gaming Association, I present you with this trophy for superior half athery in the Videlectrix half athlon. Yeah, yeah, ich bin ein Donuts. You joining my party or what? Da, da. Strong Matt has joined the party. All right, let's have him throw this uh, checkpoint across. Okay, comrade, let's see what you can do. Swamp pot? Hey, it's round, isn't it? Now get putting. Pot, swamp, swamp pot. There we go. Zavago! Now I can. I'll zoop. Run across here. Across the penguins. I'm so good at this game. Grab the scorpion food. Scorpion food. Hmm. Yeah, ah, those scorpions like are really homed in on this stuff. Good thing there's an ice level between us. Now we'll touch the checkpoint. Okay, now can you maybe remember what I'm holding? If you want to die right, you got to do everything yourself. And toss the checkpoint back across. Pot, shot, shot, pot! Lysenko! Now we should be able to go past those scorpions. Sort of. Huh? Huh? They'll eat us huh? alive, but we'll respawn. Ah! No! Get off! Continue! Dog bad. Whoa, I could swear I was just stung to death by low red scorpions. Oh, you were. But your video game checkpoint brought you back to life. Cool. And hey, I've still got the scorpion food. Uh, maybe I should just get out of here. 
And done there. All right, now we've got the trog sword. Hmm. We've got scorpion food, which looks an awful lot like these quest thingies. And there is a scorpion monster in peasantry. Load P quest, comma eight, comma one. Hell yeah. Now, who did we need uh, out of the way? We needed uh, Strong Sad out of the way. How exciting. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. I need to hit save just in case there is a fuck up. I should have been doing this a lot more often. We learned that the other week. Alright, let's hand him this scorpion food. Okay, here's that quest thing you sent me out for. The evil um, princess are you wizard. Sure this is the quest item? Of course, it looks just like the thing you showed me. Hmm, I guess you're right. Behold, the quest item is recovered! Oh, man, this is gonna be good. Q yakety sacks. Ah, maybe. Roar. Who remembers anymore? Roar. Well, that's Roar. exciting. Roar. Help me! Hey, I'm trying to find. Excuse me. I... Hey, Roar. you, Trogdor Slayer, looking for help? Roar. All right, I should go help see. Uh... I should go see Rather Dashing. Tell him about this unfortunate turn of events. There's a princess hey, in danger. My name and physical appearance are Rather Dashing. Eh, I guess that's true. Before, when you were talking, I wasn't paying any attention. What did you say happened to the Trog Sword? The one you call Stinko Man is attempting to reclaim it from a magical world where platforms mysteriously hang in the air and extra men are extremely hard to come by. <laughs> platforms, eh? Looks like I'm gonna have to find a way into the Stinko Man game and get the Trog Sword before he does! Hey, why don't you come with me to kill Trogdor? I could use someone as kindling, I mean, a distraction, while I slay the beast. Sorry, but I'm no longer in the dragon-slaying business. Getting burninated over and over again is not a very rewarding career path. And it hurts. Real bad. So I've shifted my focus to princess saving. Yeah? How's that going for you? Honestly, business has been a bit... slow. I've yet to meet a single damsel in distress. Well, I mean, Strong Sad is an evil wizard in distress, right? That's, uh, that's similar. Guess what? Your moment of <laughs> destiny has arrived. The Munchox is attacking the princess. A princess? Oh, right. Her. Uh, are you sure? Positive, man. Now get your short pants over there and rescue her. Well, I, that is my duty. I suppose but she's I should be so off then whiny. To rescue the princess. Very well, take me there. <sighs> princess wizard, wizard princess. Let's call the whole thing off. Get this thing away from me! All right, let's let's save the princess. Never Wizard. fear, oh fair uh, maiden! I am here to save you. I'm not a princess. I'm an evil wizard. Oh, 
Really? If you're a wizard, then I don't need to save you. Roar! Roar! No, wait! I'm a dual-class wizard princess! See? See my pretty princess hat? Please help me! Well, if a princess you are, then save you I will. Stand back. Wait, is that scorpion bait you have? Yes! What should I do? Get rid of it, stupid... Uh, fair maiden! <laughs> Wow, saved by a real life adventurer. I suppose you want me to be in your party now. Well, actually, I was just going and to. I can be your spellcaster, and we could explore the evil salt marshes and kill orcs and rats. Actually, I was just going to stand around in the forest. Small. Nonsense. I can see it now. I can add bard talents and chronicle our adventures. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Ouch! Poor guy would have done better against Trogdor. All right, we're up to the end. We're going to take down Trogdor. Sword. Join him! He'll protect us! No, I won't! No! Hey, get off! Quit that! The peasants have joined your party. Okay, fine. You guys can come with me. But don't touch any of my stuff! Well, alright! Also, we got Limousine back. Where'd he go? Here, Trondor! Come here, boy! I just got a cool sword I wanted to show you! Crap, he got away. If those screaming peasants were right, his lair's underneath the castle. I'll have to make my way through these seemingly endless hallways to get down to the dungeon and take him out on his home turf. Trogbad, do you read me? According to my intel, Trogdor is at the end of these seemingly endless hallway. Homestar, what are you doing? Just delivering your mission objectives. I already <laughs> did that just fine without your help. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, can you do this? Hey, cut it out! What did you do to my camera? <laughs> May up, soldier. Your free country is depending on you. The people, give them the rundown. Use WASD keys or arrow keys to move through the hallways. Press the right mouse button to use the current weapon. Left mouse button to make strong bed look at objects or use objects from the inventory. Get splounged. All right, here we go. Da na 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 na. One of Trogdor's minions. A fiendishly difficult polynomial equation. Wow, we ah, do. How big is this castle? We do have something that can take out polynomial equations, or. Someone. Factor this! A secret passage! This will get me to Trogdor twice as fast! Since this castle's like a jillion miles long, apparently. Oh, so you're gonna play dirty Trogdor? Sending one of your space circus catastrophe clowns at me? Well, two can play at that game. And one of those two is a dancing bear. Performing bear, I choose you! Sick em. Be free, performing bear! Raised him from a cub. I'm not gonna cry. Another secret passage. It's Nebulon, Limousine's second greatest nemesis next to Alternative Rock. Oh, I really man. should break this place up with a potted plant or something. Well... To defeat Limousine's greatest nemesis, we need Limousine. Quake and fear at the power of metal! Rock on! Another secret passage! The, the chat, do you like Nebulon's style?
Oh no! Got him. Finally! I've reached another room that looks just like all the other rooms. Could have at least added a torch or something. Trogdor, the fruit of my skills of an artist. <laughs> and now it comes down to this. The epic battle. The final confiscation. The last cutscene. Here we go. Time to fight the Trogdor with the Trog Sword. TM. Hey, he was right. You can't uh, handle his style. Was a little anticlimactic. Oh, snap. Oh, way! You came to rescue me. Well, have you been walking out? How much do you bench? What are you... Whoa! I don't <laughs> believe it! They finally listened to me! You look pretty ripped. And Rip Map! Check out all these polygons! And this blade! I... I'm the best graphics ever made! Uh, strong head? I'm kinda having a moment, Homestar. Don't interrupt! Oh. Da na 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 na! The final battle. Homestar, you've been here for hours. Seen any secret levers or anything? Nah, no, man. It's been pretty chill. Oh, wait. There was this old hooded guy who came in talking about some ancient bloodstone. There was the only way to light up the secret weak spots all over Trogdor's body. I told him we didn't need that old thing. Fantastic! When somebody offers you an ancient dragon-killing relic, you take it! Now where am I gonna find a bloodstone? We do have something that, uh... is colored like blood. It's kind of stone-shaped, but first here's Run, a peasant. Save yourself! Burninated! <laughs> This is like a bloodstone. After you've tasted my blade as the main course, for dessert, how about a little red flavored fluffy puff translucent dessert related substance? My favorite. <laughs> Silly dragon, I'm inflammable! Oh man. Well, I can see one weak spot now. Let's trog it up. Aha! But I'll never be able to reach the rest of the weak spots unless I get Trogdor to turn around. Way to absolutely betray the peasants' trust in you. Well, of course, I'm just staying in character. Hmm. Trogdor, look! Defenseless peasant! Well, there's that another weak red spot. spot. Must be one of Trogdor's weak points. Take that! All right, two down. And there's the last weak point. 
So right before hitting it, let's hit save. And strike him down. Oh man, wasn't the last weak spot. I thought there was only three. That's fine, let's find some more. We only have to sacrifice a few peasants for it. There we go. Yay, you win! Two. Oh man, now what? Must have been a load bearing dragon. This video game reality is caving in all around us and fast. We better find a fast way out of here. And fast. And fast. Well, I guess there's this door over here. That's the only way out, but it's locked. Well, who's got the key? I totally killed Trogdor! Did you see that? Yeah, that's great! Um, how are we gonna get out of this cave before it collapses and kills us both? Good we question. Get out. Good question. Um, can I chop up the door? The Trog Sword won't work on anything but the Trogdor! I guess it's our key. Finally! Deely deely dee. Just in time too. This cave is gonna collapse at any moment. We better get out of here. Me first. Hang on, I gotta save my game. Uh, 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 nail. <laughs> Very nice. Rhino, Rhino feeder. Ah! Are you okay, Strong Bad? I just had the most pixelated dream, and you were there, and you were there, and... Uh-oh, you were there. So, that's the end of Strong Bad's Cool Game for Attractive People. Thanks everyone who's joined us for these past five weeks. It's been awesome to play this game for you. Next, we're going to start on either Back to the Future, Sam and Max, one of those. We'll figure it out over the next week. I'm really glad people seem to be enjoying these because I really do love big, dumb adventure games. A delight from start to finish. That's how I describe most Telltale games, honestly. So what do you guys think? Uh, yeah, Back to the Future and Sam and Max. There's Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, we got a few different options. I'm not doing, as I said before, I'm not going to do any of the ones that are more like movies. I'm going to just stick to the point-and-click adventures, their earlier work. Just got finished with Back to the Future. It's excellent, isn't it? It really makes itself a, it really makes itself a sequel to the original trilogy. I do have Wallace and From It. <laughs> I have, I think I've got all of the, uh, the point and click games and most of the movie games, but you know. I've also got Bone. That might be fun. And Dark Dreams Don't Die. That's another option. Sam and Max is always close to my heart, but might follow too close on the uh, strong bad in terms of tone. Wallace and Gromit may be the best bet. Yeah, that's possible too. 
All right, well, we will absolutely figure it out over the next week. Uh, Y'all know you can find me on Mastodon with my sister, Squirrel Lily, at queer.party. And you can find my lovely wife at aka hailing at queer.party. She's in the chat right now as well, aka hailing. I'm in the middle of something to cheat. You do it this time. Uh, Sunday. Sunday we got Sue playing Dark Souls 3. I think she's in the middle of the first DLC right now. And then on Monday, we got my wife Christy playing... Playing... She don't know. But she'll be playing something. Thanks everyone for coming. Thanks to our followers. And she's taking suggestions, too, so that helps. Uh, we got thanks to our followers, thanks to our subscribers. Subscriptions are always appreciated, but absolutely never necessary. We just like you being here. And we will see you next time. <laughs>